Right now at five, two drivers plunge off the interstate in recent weeks. Dramatic and terrifying examples of a terrible epidemic in Milwaukee, reckless driving. A live look now at the Marquette Interchange, the scene of one of those accidents. Hundreds of thousands of vehicles travel through it every day. But as many of us know, all it takes is one reckless driver to upend many lives. New at five, Adriana Mendez examines what can be done to keep our roads safer. The Department of Transportation says both incidents are a result of reckless driving. They say it's not common for people to plunge off of the interstate, but they also say both cases are an example of how dangerous reckless driving can be, especially in a winter weather event. It's frightening video. A car hits a snowbank and plunges off of the Marquette interchange. The woman driver miraculously survives. The 27 year old was suspected of driving drunk. She was taken to the hospital and later arrested. And just a few weeks ago, a 34 year old Pewaukee man veered off of the zoo interchange after losing control and hitting a snowbank. The DOT says the driver was speeding and is now facing three traffic violations. Eddie Santiago is the director of highway operations for the Milwaukee County Department of Transportation. He says they first focus on clearing the roads. They then move on to snow removal for bridges and overpasses. The DOT says a winter weather event combined with reckless driving is a recipe for disaster. Going and freezing um, on the sides of the roads that could potentially cause uh, um, snow banks to form a uh, ramp like form. Um, and especially if it's, it's a uh, hard ice, um, it could cause somebody to, uh, if they go off the road, um, it could cause them to lose control of their vehicle. According to the Wisconsin Department of Transportation, about 300,000 vehicles pass through the Marquette interchange and 350,000 through the zoo interchange a day. Officials with the DOT say both incidents are extremely rare. Officials say in weather events, drivers should be traveling below posted speeds and with more snow expected for the weekend. The main message is for commuters out there to slow down for everyone's safety. To go at a safe speed and to go under the speed limit is it's important for not just for uh, the safety of the rest of our commuters um, and for personal safety, but also for our uh, crews that are working out there on the sides of the road. And we did reach out to the woman driver to hear her side of the story, but she says she does not have a comment right now and she is just focused on her recovery. Reporting Milwaukee, Adriana Mendez, TMJ4 News.